They pride themselves on working through all weathers up here. Even so, this is the worst many say they've seen for a decade. And driving over the hillsides today, it was clear that what's left of that heavy snow continues to block roads to some rural communities. And digging out has begun for others. And butcher Peter Hutchinson preparing to make deliveries to those who can't make it out. It's a long time since it snowed like that. Yeah, a long time. But it was just regional, it was just here, you know, uh, Blackpool, which is just across the bay, there was nothing. The sun was shining on Saturday. Oh, same. Yeah, just the same, yeah. It was just regional, it's just one of them things, you have to get on with it. But we're country people, so you just get on with it, and everybody helps where they can help. What makes me mad is people grumbling about the emergency services, because, you know, they're doing their best. Because yeah, yeah. we're farmers, so we've got the gear to clear it out and everything, but anyone that's not is a bit stuck. And, like, electrics off. Work to restore that power to most of the remaining few hundred homes should be completed overnight. We are used to snow in the, in the Lake District, um, but to come down at such a, a rate has been some of the challenge and the weight of the snow on the lines has caused the problems with the network and extensive damage. For those still without power, vans providing hot food were laid on. Over the weekend, the fire service was called out to rescue a number of people who'd been trapped in their cars. So intense was the snowfall. And even now, mountain rescue teams are out in some of the more remote parts of the Lake District, carrying out checks on those who haven't been able to leave their homes yet. Across the Lake District, dozens of schools were closed. But the big thaw has started, as one of this area's favourite sons might say. That will mean another fine mess. Winter has definitely arrived. Greg Milam, Sky News.